solve Virodo problem 1.276 based on conservation of angular momentum. What has been given here is there is a disk uh, with mass m which is rotating with angular velocity omega 0 and a mass, small mass m is placed in a slot running radially inwards. The slot is from the periphery to the center and the mass is free to move along the slot. This mass is connected to a string which passes through the center and along the axis it is pulled by a force F. We have to find what is the angular velocity when the mass reaches the center and the work done by the force in this process when the mass has reached the center. Points to be noted are there is no external torque though there is an external force but it is acting in such a way that it is through the axis which is not any way producing any torque on the system and when there is no external torque the angular momentum is conserved momentum is conserved so what is the initial momentum Li is equal to what is the moment of inertia of the system moment of inertia of this mass and moment of inertia of the disk I of this mass is equal to m r square and I of disk is m r square upon 2 so the total moment of inertia is m r square plus m r square upon 2 multiplied by angular velocity is the angular momentum when the small mass reaches here its moment of inertia in this system is zero because it is at the center so the final angular momentum is equal to m r square by 2 that is the moment of inertia of the disk multiplied by omega final equate the two because it is conserved omega final will be equal to m r square plus m r square by 2 omega 0 divided by m r square by 2 and you solve it you get omega 0 twice m upon m plus 1 is the value of the angular velocity when the mass has reached at the center. Now what is the work done by the force? work done by the force would be equal to the change in kinetic energy of the system that is the rotational kinetic energy the final ke of system is half i is m r square upon 2 into omega final is how much omega final square and initial ke is half into m r square plus m r square upon 2 into omega 0 square this is the initial and this is the final what is the change in kinetic energy k final minus k initial is equal to take 1 upon 2 common take m r square by 2 common and you get omega final square which is omega 0 1 plus twice m upon m square square minus we have taken m r square by 2 common so it becomes 1 upon 2 also common so it becomes twice m upon m plus 1 omega 0 square take omega 0 square also common and this common you get 1 upon 2 into m r square upon 2 into omega 0 square into 1 plus twice m upon m into 1 plus twice m upon m minus 1 
you solve it and you will get this one gets cancelled m gets cancelled 2 gets cancelled so it is m r square omega 0 square upon 2 into 1 plus twice m upon m this is delta k e what will be the what will delta k e signify delta k e will signify the increase in the energy and how it has happened energy is conserved how the energy has increased energy has increased because this force has done the work so work done by the force is resulted has resulted in the increase in kinetic energy of the system so this is the work done so that solves the problem which was quite simple thank you